Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another edition of the one and only Makeup Protection Program. October's been rough. I haven't been doing the best job of being your protection, but I am still here trying. So if you wanna comb through all the new makeup releases with me, keep watching this video and let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. How are you? I am definitely channeling my inner Wednesday today. And I just got back from a trunk or treat with August at a school and it was a great time. So that's always fun. And I love to dress up. So any excuse I have, I will go all out. So this look will be up tomorrow. In addition to another look, it's going to be a do we still love her video and wait till you see the palette. All right. I'm not sure we have a lot. This week has been so busy, but we're gonna go ahead and jump right on in because the makeup releases have been hot and heavy. So I don't, I don't know why I said hot and heavy, but they, they've been on. So I'm gonna scoot over and we're gonna get this show on the road. Okay, I'm over. Not a lot. If you're shopping the Sephora sale, let me know how that is going. As I was leaving the house for the trunk or treat, I saw my bag on the porch, so I haven't touched it yet um everything that i wanted couldn't be delivered same day so i still have a few things coming but i'm really excited to get into that bag all right let's start with these new shades from lethal cosmetics there's going to be a reveal on wednesday so that's it and it looks like this is just one shade so i will be interested to see what they are going to come out with most likely it's going to be a pass for me. And let me know if y'all want to see a video on holiday sets because I'm not going to touch on all these sets. Menagerie has an amazing soft focus setting powder. This powder is supposed to have a blurring and softening effect on the skin with kaolin, which helps to control oil and prevent makeup creasing. It also has vitamin E and organic rosehip oil to moisturize the skin. It is available now. I'm not sure of the price. I was talking about how menagerie has been laying low lately so it's nice to see something new from them h&m beauty has a mascara it's called the volume icon lash mascara okay it has a it has a rich black formula and an hourglass brush i am going to pass on that because i don't need any mascaras and look what the wind blew in lime crime they've got a venus x S, Majestic Muse Eyeshadow Palette for $20, Velveteen's Lip Trio Majestic Mats, $30, Wet Cherry Lip Gloss Duo Crushed Gems for $20, and a Stardust Liquid Luster Eyeshadow. So, I didn't even know that Lime Crime was still in business i've never tried the brand and there were some questionable things that i heard but you know that that happens a lot nowadays but at the time so i just never was compelled however i just feel like why are we still doing the venus thing wasn't that something that they did before um, let me know what you think about this it's just hmm. anyone let's see yeah i feel like people don't really care and that's okay all right, we're going to move on. Now, some of these things I'm skipping because they're just boring. What is this? Tower 28 has a lash curler. Well, I'm sure it's not $80 like the one from Hermes 16. That is very reasonable, Tower 28. That's going to be a pass. Okay, I'm so corny for this. But these poppy sodas are my best friends, y'all. I absolutely love the poppy sodas. The cherry limeade. Oh. The strawberry rose I think that's what it's called all of them they are so good and expensive but they are so good and they're supposed to be probiotic sodas or prebiotic so it's supposed to be good for your gut and they are low carb they are so good the point of all of this is that in beauty project has a collab with poppy and there are two soda inspired lip oils 
Sips and Lips Duo, $34 includes two lip oils. Yes, Raspberry Rose and Cranberry Fizz, which I need to find Cranberry Fizz because that is going to be something I need to try. Now, these are going to be available on November 7th. I did see that In Beauty is sold at Sephora and they did have a lip oil set for $48 and I had it in my cart and then I took it out like, why do I need to buy four lip oils at once? I, I wouldn't mind this little poppy set though. I really like poppy. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying poppy. So I've seen some things about the Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadows. There was like a palette. So I don't know what this is. Are these new shades? Uh, it's okay because it's a new no for $24 each. So no. What is this? Uh, this is a no. Uh, no, I don't know. It looks like sidewalk chalk. That was rude. Let me just go back. No, it does. Okay, I gotta move on. Now, I was really intrigued by this dirty gingerbread candle from Heretic Parfum. Why would they do this to him? Gingy! Why would they do that to him? And he looks sad. He doesn't look like he's enjoying this. <sighs> okay, I just can't. I can't do it. Now, this is going to smell like a, a cookie that has a dirty side to it. And I don't know what that means. But it's looking like raw burnt sugar and Madagascar vanilla and some crackling black pepper. Warm clothes, nutmeg, and tonka bean. Mm -mm. All right, I'm not getting this. Uh, it's $44. It's at Credo Beauty. Let me know what you think about the marketing. You know, I don't like sexualized makeup, but this one's kind of funny, but kind of like this is too much at the same time. All right, let me know. Then there's the Dirty Santa candle, and this one captures fresh evergreen and sweet wood smoke. Mm. And this one has Santa. What was he? Yeah, it's right here. Why? <laughs> oh, gosh. I can't take it. I got to move on. Emotionless and white. Okay. I don't know this brand, but these circle pans and the different sizes are throwing me off. So that's a no. This is a no. About Face Beauty has some smoke sticks. Y'all know I don't use the sticks, but if you're interested, they are, I don't know how much, but they're waterproof, transfer proof, sweat proof, and all night wear. But this is going to be an all night no, because I know I'm not going to use this. So are they like double ended? It looks like. Yeah, six ready to smudge shade pairings. All right. Well, that's nice for them. For me, it's a no. Mmm. Okay. This palette from Touch of Glam Beauty is looking really delicious. I mean, we only see like four to five shades, but yeah, this might be my uh, gateway to the brand. There's been a hollow misunderstanding. Date will be announced soon. This looks really good. Please let me know if you've tried Touch of Glam Beauty. I've seen their shadows from time to time. I believe they are sold on Etsy. I'm not familiar with the brand at all, but I will say I would not mind getting familiar with this color story. <laughs> Surely wouldn't mind. So we'll keep an eye on that. I know this is not, I'm about to say, I know this is not Lori Geller. Didn't she just come out with a baked situation? Hold on. Now I feel like I got to go back and look because I know that she came out with some baked shadows it was after i talked about the wheel of fortune collection and then i was like what's this and it was another collection like of baked shadows it was the one that had the model that was really pretty well, i'm gonna find it this one with the pretty model so you already got this out then we're gonna scroll back up and now you got pretty much got it out in a a layer to this. Ah, I don't know. It's pointless to me. So pink Prosecco is one palette for $25 and champagne cheers is the other one. 
<laughs> Dr. Ash said, what in the early 2000s is going on here? Yeah, this is no. All right, got to move on. Dyson, no. We've got from DD Signature. Now, DD Signature has that fall palette I talked about last week. This is a sister palette to Pumpkin Spice with everything yummy. This is called Plum Perfection. And this is going to be available on October 27th, which that has passed. Um, this is going to be a pass, though. Oh, Linda. So Linda Hallberg. You know, I used to really like Linda Hallberg. Like, not I don't like her anymore, but like watching her makeup looks and stuff like that. But I'm just really not compelled to try her brands. I don't know. So this is called Creator Collection and committed, passionate, and devoted. Creator Palette exists all thanks to you, our beloved and amazing community. Get inspired, go creative, and let's play with the result of our teamwork. Okay. Oh, so she put out a lot of questions and Insta polls and things like that that led to the development of this color story. So that's very nice, but it's gonna be nice from afar. The palette is $50, $49, and then there's a crayon for $22, and a fantastic or fantastic poppy, $25, and the bundle is $68. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to move on. Estee Lauder has the Pink Ribbon Pure Color Lipstick Collection for $36. Empowered in pink. Support the cause. Uh, this is going to be a pass. It's got a little bag, little pins. But it's just not something I need in my collection. But I do love the cause and the pink packaging. Mm, let's talk about this. This is the Pretty Grunge Palette from Huda Beauty. This is going to be her holiday release. And this palette was leaked some months back. And the picture that I remember seeing was really, really dull. It was almost reminding me a bit of Natasha Denona Glam. And you might say that this one does too, but no. This palette has a little warmth to it. This palette has a little more of a royalty. I'm into this palette now that I'm seeing the actual brand pictures, you know? It does look like it has some matte lipsticks in the collection, and I can't remember what this other thing is. I think it's a highlighter. I'm lying. It's a blush gloss that adjusts to your skin. Whatever. Now, I'm sure this palette is going to be close to the $70 price tag, and I'm thinking about getting it because I can get it for 20% off during VIB. What I would say I like about this palette are pretty much the things I like about all the hooded palettes. It's like you got a nice range of nudes, deep shades. The shimmers are nice. And I like with this one, I feel like you can do some purple leaning looks with those. There's like a really deep mauve. And I'm looking at a couple of the shimmers, like a nice cool tone berry look or something like that. I have tried the Huda Beauty uh, matte lip products and I like those too. But I'm not sure if I'm getting any of those. But I am, I would say 95% sure that I'm going to get the Pretty Grunge palette. So let me know what you think about that one. Looks like Wayne Goss is coming out with something. So here's my thing. We already know what's launching. We already know. A lot of people knew before I knew because I only thought that Glam Light was doing the Ghostface collection. Looking at this right now just made me feel very tired. Made me feel very weary and faint because we know something special is launching. My issue now is that we have normalized brands releasing things on Halloween only to use it in November and December when nobody cares anymore. See, all of us are in the Halloween vibes now. Look at me. I'm in the Halloween spirit. I'm in the Halloween mode. You know, my uh, Friday the 13th palette just got shipped out today. Now, who knows how long that's going to take? And I'm going to be talking about harvest and Thanksgiving with my Jason palette and bloody splattered brushes. Whatever the, had the brush set was made out of. I don't know. Or had on it. 
let's not do that. And there, there's more, there's more Halloween things, but let me just go up to what we have from the collection. Cause that's all I got. I can't give you a palette. I can't give y'all nothing. So that, that's what we've got. There is a Nightmare on Elm Street Killer Lip Oil Shade that adds a dose of blood red allure to your lips. That's nice. But I'm waiting on this palette. I think it's two palettes. Oh, wait a minute. What's this, though? Oh, Chest of Souls. Now, this Chest of Souls blush trio looks nice. Hmm. $18? No, I don't care. I want to see the palette. Let me go back down because mm -mm, it's a lot going on. We do have a full reveal of the Elements of Evil Halloween Eyeshadow Palettes. Or palette. This is $52 and Makeup on Your Radar has a code for 10% off and it's a Radar 10. I'm just not into this. I saw some pictures a little early on, like earlier in the week, and they look darker than this. So, mm -mm, nope. But I'm definitely happy for them. And Doodles by the Bunny. What? Not a new brand alert. Oh, God. I can't do it. You see, we have the sneak peek of the part two of the Melt Collection, which I'll talk about in a minute. So here's the Melt Halloween or Christmas Town collection. At first I was trying to like it. I was trying to force myself to like it. I'm like, oh, I like it better than the first palette. But it's like, no, Kara, we're not going to force ourselves to like anything. I'm not going to force myself to like that blush highlight duo or that bag. And I'm not going to force myself to like those glitter pots. So this is a no. A hard no. That's also a hard no. Let me know if you've tried Gloss Gods. I remember when these palettes were released. Then we have the color of rain, lavender skies, look for rainbows, and new neutrals. They're $42 a piece, and they always look so good, but I don't know. I just haven't been drawn into branching out. So, I mean, that neutral one is real pretty. Duh. Oh, I thought it was Tanessa. I was about to be like, Duh, no, so. We have from Trixie Cosmetics something coming new. Oh, no. I'm, I'm not doing this because they're talking about what do you think it is? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Okay, is this the lethal shade? Oh, there's six newest additions to the eyeshadow family. Okay. I don't know. What is this? It's Glossier Bomb dot com cookie butter. Um. Oh, okay. No. So sometime back we talked about ColourPop and their Rudolph collection coming back into stock. So that has come back. I'm not sure if it's uh, sold out or not, but mm. it's a cute collection, but it's just not for me. We have a collab from Cleona and What's Up Beauty, which I think is really cool. We have these three nail polishes and they are going to launch on Wednesday, November 1st at 3 p.m. EDT. I'm so mad. I was talking my butt off and my phone cut off or my camera cut off. So I don't even know where I left off at. I think I was talking. Well, I talked about Cleona and their collab with What's Up Beauty, which is cute. But that's going to be a pass. Wayne Goss, it looks like he's going to have some type of brush coming, but I don't know. And then we were looking at Girl Cult Cosmetics, which I've never heard of. So they've got these products that are coming soon, which looks like some quads and some, I don't know, lip products. I'm not sure. But let me know if that's a new brand. Now, this is a lot. I think this is Kiko Milano. Um... This is going to be a pass. It's a lot in this. Look at all that. All that means is to know. I'm so sorry. I just, I, I just can't. I'm overwhelmed. I'm sorry if I'm skipping over anything that you want to see. I'm just trying to get to any good stuff. What is this? Oh, the Mod Beauty. I 
heard of this brand. Let me know if you know anything about them. All-in-one refillable face and eyeshadow essentials palette. Yeah, that's not something I really need. We have some hydrating cream lipstick duos. We have some shine lip balm duos. And there's a mascara. I believe this is only sold at Beautylish. Or maybe not. Maybe on their website. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Killian, what are we doing? Killian has this uh, Le Rouge Parfum Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. I feel like it's really, yeah, $62. No, I gotta, I gotta let go of that dream. Oh, not made by Mitchell. Not to enjoy beauty. Ooh, half-baked gingerbread smash. This is Sniff and Half-Baked Harvest. A spiced gingerbread scent you'll crumble for. Okay, I, I don't know. November 2nd, I mean, I guess it's not late, but I'm tired. All right, let's move on. Uh, we have some more sneak peeks of things we don't want from Glam Light, and this is a brush set. I liked them at first, but now I feel like I don't. So it's $18, I believe, last $24. Of course, it's launching on Halloween. Bye, boo. Bella Beauty Bar has a bejeweled palette. Looks like a big one. It's going to be available in November, and Radar 10 is the code. Um, I don't know. That palette looks like it's going to be too big. All right, let's look at this. So, shall we make up? Look how pretty this is. This is the Mist Witch palette, and they have a regular size version and a mini version. And I really do appreciate that because I really am not going to use these up. But let me know what you think about this color story. It says they're going to open up a pre-order with their 11-11 shopping festival on November 11th. All the palettes will be ready and shipped out at the end of November. So the full size palette is $49 and the mini size is $25. I don't know. Let me, let me know what you think about that. <laughs> Say Noir. This is still available for pre-order. I wish I had a chance to smell this before I ordered it or I didn't order it yet but I'm sure I'll eventually get this but NRN not right now it is $160 and again this one has top notes of clementine and golden honey the heart is rose absolute and jasmine sombak and the base is Namibian myrrh and golden amber so yeah just not sure what that's gonna give me uh Carrie Bell the beauty by Bell Okay, we don't know what that is. This palette is beautiful by Ace Beauté. It is gonna be a pass just because I know that I have, oh man, I do believe I have something with this similar color story. So it's a pass, but I think it's really pretty. And then we have this from Notoriously Morbid. And one of my friends on here asked a great question, like are the embossings actual different colors of the shades? Or are they overspray? But I think it's a bit of a mixture. Like they do have some shades where they've poured two colors in the pan. But I'm not sure what the majority is. So this looks really appealing to me. Because it's got like all the, the scary villains on there. This is called the Poltergeist palette. It has 12 shades and it's $89.99. Individual shades are $11.99 a piece. Um, this is a pricey one, you know, and I know they are moving locations and things like that, but I thought the Halloween palette was the, uh, Sleepy Hollow one, but boy, was I wrong. So again, $89.99 for the palette. There are some Mystic Matte, and there is an NFTEO mystery bag. Oh, and there's 20 car fresheners. Okay, let me know what you think about this. I mean, I think this is like iconic looking, you know, but I wouldn't want to use it and I wouldn't want the colors to wear off, but I think it looks really good. So let me know your thoughts on this one. I definitely would like to see more because it's hard to tell like the finishes of everything. So let me know. I'm getting tired, but we're almost done. Terra Moons did release their Fall Equinox eyeshadow collection it's absolutely beautiful it's just expensive it's about 235 dollars for the whole collection so right now i'm gonna have to chill out on that but it is available now and it is very beautiful the pre-orders for this collection closes on november 3rd at 11:59 p.m so that keep that in mind if you're interested more stuff that we don't care about 
And lastly, I just have from Art Deco. I don't know anything about this brand, but this is a Christmas collection dress up in silver and gold. Okay, this looks really boring. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not into it. No, I'm not. So pass. It was a pass from the jump. And that's it for my girl makeup on your radar. I feel so chill tonight, but I'm just tired. All right, we are going to head over to Point Click Vibes and see if there's anything that we may have missed. I really don't see anything. Nope. So let's go to Chic Profile 4. What is this? Mm, no. I think we're good to go. I really do. So I'm going to move over. I really didn't see anything and I'm glad because after what I spent at Sephora, I need to relax. I need to relax, relate, release. That's what I need to do. Relax, relate to this uh, makeup and I've already released my coins. So that's how I am feeling. I really want to try to lay low until Black Friday and Tyrone was laughing at me. He was like, you act like it's a long time away. I'm like, I know it's only a few weeks, but so much makeup is coming out. It's like, it's coming out every day so a few weeks is a long time in the makeup world okay that's how i feel about that i don't have anything i'm adding to cart right now so i'm just gonna try to be content with the things that i purchased from sephora i definitely have some things that i am looking at for black friday so maybe i'll gather it in the list and we could do a like a black friday wish list type thing like i did with the sephora items so yeah i think that's it I'm really curious about the Glam Light Freddy Krueger palette or Nightmare on Elm Street palette. I would love to see that. That's really the only thing that, you know, would probably catch my eye. The Touch of Glam Beauty palette looks really nice as well. So that's how I'm feeling about the new makeup releases. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Um, let me know what you're interested in or not interested in. Just let me know how you're doing. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another edition of the Makeup Protection Program. Oh, I just remember the grunge palette. That's the one I wanted. Yes. Okay. That's, that's it. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. And I will definitely see y'all in the next one. Bye. Oh,